Good morning, beloved. Welcome to Morning View. This number 28th day of 40. So we thank you all for coming and just pray that the Father will show up in our lives and begin to change our stories. Amen. Amen. Let us just unmute this morning and praise the Father for a brand new day. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day, Lord. We thank you, Father, for this day which you have made for us to rejoice and be glad in. We thank you, O Jehovah, that you have given us this day. And we know that because you have, O Lord, there is still a lot for us to do. You are not done with us yet. You still have so much that you desire for us to do as your ambassadors here on the earth. So, Father, we come to say thank you, thank you, thank you for entrusting so much into our hands, Lord. As we go out, our Father, we just pray this day that you will be with us wherever we go and in whatever we do. That your name, Father, will be glorified through our acts and deeds and omission, so God, that wherever we go, Father, will represent you. I will not do anything, Father, that does not satisfy your divine purposes for our lives. Oh, Lord, what happens in the night when we sleep, we cannot tell. But we know, Father, that you have protected us. We know, Father, that you have given us a new day. You've given us another opportunity, oh, Father, to do many things. That it we honor you for you alone are our Lord and our King. Many, oh Heavenly Father, had longed to see this day, but it wasn't given them. But you have given it to us, Father. We say glory be to your name, Lord. Sheko Brisarabasata, Mazi Kete, Sekenteri Bashata. Oh, Father, if this day was something to be bought, a lot of us, Father, would not have been able to afford because the wealthy, Father, would have outbidden us. But, Lord, you are a judge, a God of justice. You are a God of equality. Oh, Father, you are the one who makes your sun to shine on the wicked and on the righteous. You make your rain, oh, Lord, to fall down on the wicked and on the righteous father you do not discriminate and we bless you for that daddy we say take all glory father oh lord we pray for your visitation this morning that you lord will visit with us lord that even as we have woken up this morning to come before your presence May our prayers, O oh Lord, come before you like the fragrance of an agreeable order. May it please you, O oh Lord, to come, to come yourself, Daddy, and be with us this day. That we'll experience your tangible presence in our midst, O oh God, so that the cares and the concerns that your children come to with this morning, Father, will be resolved of us because we have encountered you in this place of meeting. Father, we commit each and every one, O oh Lord, and the families represented online this morning, and those, Lord, who will join us into your hands and care. Papa, we pray for an encounter. We pray for an encounter that none, O oh Lord, will leave this place the same. Even as we join from our homes this morning, O oh Heavenly Father, we trust in you for an encounter. O oh Father, may your presence, O oh Lord, be with us. May your tangible presence be felt, Lord, in our midst. Father, we pray, O oh God, that chains will be broken from our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that this morning that the stone will be rolled back from our lives, O oh God, so that we will see the entrance 
I will walk in, Almighty oh Father, through the doors that have been hidden to us for all these years. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray this morning that the ancient gates be lifted up, that the King of glory will come in. Oh Lord, the gates that we are unable to open will be lifted up this morning, that the King of glory will come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord Almighty. Oh, Father, we pray that the ancient gates will be obedient to your word this morning, that the crooked paths will be obedient to your word this morning, that the mountains, Lord, will be obedient to your word this morning, that the deserts, oh Lord, will be obedient to your word this morning, oh, Father, that the waters will be obedient to your word this morning, and will Heart, oh God, so that your children will walk on dry land for the glory of your name. Keribu seke ba majate sabru kusende barasoto ikaraba ba shekere 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 ba zinde bazata ikabrande kuseke ndiria basoto. We say thank you, Father. Thank you, our Lord and our King. In the mighty name of Jesus, Sabo Sikan de Riva Sete, Ira Baba Shatatara Kasin de Parasete. Father, we bless you this morning, O oh God. We continue to trust in you that this day our Father and our King we will experience you in a new light. That this day, O oh most gracious God, will experience you in our new light. To receive the grace, O oh Heavenly Father, to focus, O oh Heavenly Father, on our purpose. That you, O oh Lord, will establish us. For you who called us, Lord, gave us this unique assignment. Father, we pray this day that we we'll focus on our unique assignment, O oh most gracious Father. And that you, O oh Lord, will bless us mightily for your name's sake. The challenges of this day, Father, we do not know them. But you, O oh Lord, you know the end from the beginning. As even as you have gone forth before us this morning, our Father and our God, we pray, O oh Almighty One, that all our volunteers, all our divine helpers and our destiny helpers, Lord, shall be, O oh Lord, at the various milestones where we need them to show us the right direction to push back the stone that we may walk through, O oh Lord, to push back the waters that we may walk through on dry land, to make straight the crooked paths, O oh Father, so we don't go around in cycles. Papa, we trust, O oh Lord, that this day, our Father and our God, we will not miss them. We will not miss them. But Father, as we get to the places where they are, Lord, there will be a connection. And we, Heavenly Father, will recognize them, O oh Lord, and continue to move on in the direction that you desire for us to move. We indeed, O oh Lord, are arrayed in holy garment. And our strength is renewed each day like the morning dew for your glory. Father, we bless your name. We say thank you, O Lord, our King, for all that you are about to do in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. 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 Beloved, once more, welcome to Morning Dew on this 28th day of 40. As we fast and pray, trusting God that he will establish us even before we go down to raise the altar of establishment in Virginia on August 6th. We begin to pray this morning through 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5. And it says, and not only as we had hoped, but they first gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God. Beloved, to know your purpose to know your purpose, you want to first give yourself to the Lord. You want to give yourself first to the Lord. Well, when you do that, then you'll begin to know what you have to do. 
in Acts chapter 13, verses 2 to 3. It says, while they were worshiping and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. It is in the place of prayer. It is in the place of worship. It is in the place of fasting that the Holy Spirit sets one apart for the work which the Father has called them. So beloved, this morning we are trusting that the Lord will continue to help us to fine tune our understanding of our purpose. Because when we find our purpose and we are investing along our lines of our, the lines of our purpose, then the grace that comes with us establishing our purpose will enable us to move even faster. So let us lift our voices this morning and just pray and say, Father, even while we are in the place of prayer this morning, may the Holy Spirit set us apart. May our eyes be open. May we have clarification, Lord, on that which you have called us. Let us pray for ourselves, pray for our spouses, pray for our family, pray for the body of Christ. Beloved, let us pray. Maso kundi busi mashata, seba baba kandi Heavenly Father, we come this morning once more. We say thank you, Father, for direction on how we should go. Oh Lord, we see how your children they will give themselves first to you. Abri satari kasante barazoto. The Lord we come to say, Father, we give ourselves to you. We give ourselves to you, Lord, that you will do with us. Pass it, please. We give ourselves to you, Lord, that you partner with us, O oh God, as the earthen vessels to use as your ambassadors at this time. Father, we give ourselves to you, O oh God, O oh Holy Spirit, we pray for an encounter with you this day, that you will set us apart for the assignment which the Father has called us to, that we will know without a doubt what we are doing. Oh Father, where there is doubt, we pray for clarification. We pray for clarification. This is the most gracious God that we will know exactly, Father, where you are calling us to. And that, Lord, as we continue to move in that direction, more and more, oh Lord, it shall be clear and clear to us that this is what you have called us to do. That Father will benefit, O most gracious one, from that which you have put along our paths to enable us to go on this journey. For you, O Lord, are a providential God. You do not call us and go equip us. We know, Father, that when you call us and send us, you provide all that we need to do that which you have called us to do. O Lord, we pray this day that may our eyes be open. That we will not waste time, Lord, doing the things that you have not called us to, but that our eyes be open, O oh Father, even as we patiently await for proper understanding, and if we pray that our steps will be moving in the right direction, that we will not move around in cycles, O oh God. Lord, we choose to be wise, O oh Lord, in our ways. So we come to inquire from you once more, our Father. Say, Lord, show us the way that you desire for us to go. Holy Spirit, speak to us, speak to us that we may understand which direction to take. In this to do it and the basata, Jamande Pekusate, Riabasete. The best direction, O oh, Heavenly Father, comes from you. 
So we trust in you, Father. We trust in you, Lord, that if there is any GPS that we need, Holy Spirit, that you give us direction. That we shall not waste time in the world. We shall not go around in cycles. We shall not go around in circles. We still the resources that you have given us so far. And may we move in the way that you desire for us. Yes, for the yes, dear yes, glory, yes, for your name's sake, Lord. Yes, in yes, Jesus' yes. mighty name. Amen, you, amen and amen. Yes, amen. Amen. The word amen. of God tells us in Matthew 6, 33, it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Seek first the kingdom of God. Beloved, we have come this morning as an expression of our desire to seek first the kingdom. So as we do so, we know we acknowledge our father and our maker. And we want to remain plugged in because if we are not plugged in, we will lose our charge. And our charge comes from us seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness. Then the father will add to us. Our purpose comes from our Father, so we are trusting that as we have come to his presence this morning, he will continue, will begin to reveal to us even more. So let us just open our mouths and acknowledge our God this morning, for he is our God, he is our maker, and he knows exactly why he created us. May it be evident to us why he created us, so that we move in that direction. Beloved, let us pray. Pray, pray, pray that none in your family will be left behind, but that yes. everyone will come to understand their purpose so that they will find fulfillment in whatever they are doing because they are doing in the will of God. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come this morning. We come, oh Lord, as an expression that we have come to seek your face this day. We have come to seek you first, oh Heavenly Father, according to your word, that we seek you first. We seek your kingdom first. We seek your righteousness first. We seek your righteousness first. Oh, oh, Heavenly Father, it is you, oh Lord, that you place as priority in our lives. It is you, oh Heavenly Father, that we choose to serve. For indeed, oh Lord, Ikiribasha Kande Mazete, you Lord know the end from the beginning. We choose to serve you, Lord. You created us for a purpose. Father, we choose to serve you. Is in the basoto, is in the basoto. Ashara basente rika baso kuriya basete. In the ribo se te rikende ba masata. Kali bo se te rikende ba rashata. O sarababa ba kabunde ba masete. Father, we know that you created us for a purpose. So, Lord, we are coming to you this morning. Father, this morning. If any step that we have taken that is not in alignment, oh, Father, with your divine purpose. Father, this morning we have come to you with our minds. We have come to you so that you will reduce us. We have come to you, Heavenly Father, so that you will purge us of our own righteousness, of our own wisdom in our own sight, so that, Father, we will depend on you. We will see Lord, the direction in which you are moving, that we will follow, Lord, in the footsteps that you have imprinted in the sun before us. Ebra Rizun Deva Marakuzate. Father, we trust in you this morning for the peaceful Heavenly Father that we will not begin to explain the things that we do in our own way, Father, but that even when we realize that indeed we'll be moving in the, in the direction which you have not called us to, that Father, we will repent and move in the direction that you desire for us. Thank you, because when you say it. Father, we bless your sacred name. Lord, Lord, for you saw our unformed body. All the days ordained for our lives, Father, were written in your book, even for one of them came to be. 
Oh Lord, you know where we should go. Father, we turn to you this morning. We come to you this morning, Father, to ask of you that you will tell us what we should do this day. Even this day, Lord, has been written in your book. Even this day, Father, has been planned for us. So, Father, we cry to you this day that you will open our eyes, O oh Lord. May it be very clear to us which direction we should embark on on this day. Bazuto Risa Barikata, Sabu Kundiri Kundi Barisata, Ikarababa, Shakaraba, Shake Piri Besete. Oh, Father, we rely on you. We surrender to you, O oh God, our Maker. We trust in you, O oh Father, that all that you have given us in our lives to, to do the purpose for which you have called us, Lord will be applied in the right direction because this day we'll receive clarity, Lord, on how we should go. We'll receive clarity, O oh Heavenly Father, even for our children. And that, Lord, we will lead them in the way they should go. Father, we pray this morning for our spouses, O oh Lord, that you will speak to them, O oh Lord, even in various ways, that they too will understand the direction in which you have called them. Father, we cry to you. Father, our Father, the laborers are few, O oh God, and the harvest is plenty. O oh Lord, we cry to you. That may your laborers, Lord, not move around in circles. We cry to you, Father, for direction. We cry to you, Father, for direction. May we, O oh Lord, walk in the trajectory that you have purpose for our lives, that we shall not waste time, O oh Lord, because every time that we waste going around in circles, Lord, is time that the harvest is waiting in the field to help us, Lord, on this journey that we will move in the right direction all the time for according to our purpose. And that you, Father, will establish us even as we move in these directions. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen and amen. 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 Beloved, this morning we want to pray and call for the potential to achieve our purpose. The yes. Father has deposited in us the ability to achieve our purposes. The word of God tells us in Psalms 139, verses 13 to 14. He said, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. As he was knitting you together, he had a plan in mind. So the way that you are formed is so that you'll be able to fulfill that purpose. Amen. Amen. 14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. If, so as we are praying this morning, we pray also according to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. He said, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. We have the power. We have the power. We have the power to do all that the Lord has called us to do. We have the sound mind, the understanding on how to go about it. We have the love, so we move out and do anything that we do in love because love conquers all iniquity. So, beloved, as we pray this morning, we are reminded that we are made in a specific way. If anybody has looked at us and given us names because of how we look, we should remind ourselves this morning that they are giving us names, not knowing that that is how the Father has made us. And that even those names are pushing us to the place where we'll accomplish purpose. Beloved, just unmute this morning and say, Father, why did you meet me in this way? Help me to understand so that I will use the way that you have needed me to bring out your power in me, to bring out your love in me, to bring out the sound mind in me that I would move in the direction that you have called me to achieve purpose. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I say thank oh you for your children, oh God, online this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we all look different. 
but then we know, oh God, my Father, that we have been created in your image, and your image in us, oh Father, the breath that you breathe in us is all the same. Your Holy Spirit, who has come to dwell and in us and on us, is all the same. The Father, we know that you created our physical body. Need us, oh Heavenly Father, to be in our mother's womb. You did need us differently, so that we will look differently, so that we will adapt differently to different situations. So that you will bring out our uniqueness, our uniqueness, oh God, in the body of Christ. So that together, when we pull all our resources together, we experience, oh Father, the wonderful mind of Christ as the body of Christ. So, Father, we come. We say thank you that in my uniqueness, oh God, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. In my uniqueness, oh Heavenly Father, I have the power which you have given me to accomplish purpose, to fulfill purpose. In my uniqueness, oh God, I have the love that will overcome every obstacle. Oh, Father, I bless you this day. I bless you this day, my Lord and my God, for your purpose that you have called me to accomplish. I bless you, oh, Heavenly Father, of my uniqueness. But in my uniqueness, oh God, you have given me a sound mind. And I say glory be to your name. Sakuribu Zika Basate, Chamande Rabazokuria Basata, Zebrande Kuziberika Brande Kuzete, Chamande Barazokure Basete, Ika Barashata Rabasheke de Rasata. Oh, Heavenly Father, I bless you for my uniqueness. I bless you, oh Lord, for my uniqueness this day. And I pray, oh God, that even as you have made me the way you have made me, may I function in this way, oh Lord, to satisfy the purpose for which you did create me, so that your glory shall be made manifest. Papa, I pray that together we will bring our uniqueness, oh God, and that the world will see the body of Christ moving in the right direction, moving in a progressive direction for your glory. We honor you, Lord. We bless your sacred name. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Jesus. We continue to call forth the potential that the Lord has endowed in us to fulfill purpose. Because when we focus on our purpose, the Lord will establish us in that place. Amen. In Amen. Genesis 1, 28, the word of God says, Then God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. The Amen. Father tells us in Isaiah 30, verse 21, He says, And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. And when ye turn to the right, and when ye turn to the left. So this morning, our Father is coming to remind us that we should be fruitful. We should be fruitful. We should multiply. Whatever we touch shall multiply. Whatever we we'll touch shall bear fruit. He said we should fill the earth and subdue it. The earth and all that is in it will come under us. We should have dominion over the waters. We should have dominion over the air. We should have dominion on land. So beloved, this morning, as we walk on land, may our ears be inclined to hear the direction that the Father is giving us. Amen. Amen. So beloved, just pray accordingly for yourself, your family, your loved one. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your church community that we our ears will be inclined to hear what the Lord is telling us. Because as we are hearing that in season, we will walk in the path where we'll have dominion over the earth, we'll have dominion over the air, we'll have dominion over the sea. And by such doing, we will multiply, we'll be fruitful, we'll fill the earth, we'll subdue it for the purposes of the Lord. Let us pray. 
Oh, Heavenly Father, I come to you this morning, Lord. I say, my ears, Lord, are open. And I pray, Father, that I will understand your voice, that I will understand the direction which you are calling me to go. Father, that when I move to the left, may it be, oh God, because I have heard you say that I should move to the left. And when I move to the right, oh God, may it be because I've heard you say I should move to the right. That's so dollar CTK. Oh Father, may my direction come from you. So that even as I obey you, Lord, I will walk in the area where I will have dominion over the earth. I will have dominion to God and express it over the earth. I will express dominion, Father, over the air. I will express dominion, Lord, over the sea. For you have given us, O oh God, the ability to conquer the air, the sea, and the land. That it will say glory be to your name. Father, this morning I come and I speak to every obstacle in the air. I say, be moved in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to every obstacle coming from the waters. You marine spirits, the Lord rebuke you this morning. The Lord rebuke you from the lives of the children of God this morning. The Lord rebuke you from the lives of everyone represented online this morning. The Lord rebuke you from the families of those represented online this morning. The Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to you, Jerusalem. Enemies who stand to disturb the purposes of the children of God, who come to bring diversion, who come to bring distraction. I speak to you this morning. I say the hand of the Lord pushes you back this morning. I say the finger of the Lord sweeps you from your feet this morning. May the winds of the Lord throw you like that you will scatter in seven different directions in in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak breakthrough in the lives of the children of God this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that Everyone. all the obstacles in our lives from the land, from the air, and from the waters, oh God, be pushed back in the mighty name of Jesus. Every obstacle standing in the way, standing in the way from your children fulfilling purpose, we speak to you this morning. We say push back in the mighty name of Jesus. We call upon the mighty Father this day. We say, Lord, may the obstacles from the air, from the land, and from the sea be scattered in seven different directions. May they be blown away like chaff. That the wind blows them away, oh God, to such an extent that they will never be able to be assembled. That our eyes will be clear, oh God, and our ears will be clear, oh Heavenly Father. To, to hear, Lord, the direction where you are calling us to go, so that we will walk according to your divine will and purpose for your glory, that we will honor you. We trust in you this day, O oh God, for testimonies of breakthrough. We trust in you this morning, that, Lord, the doors have been opened, that the doors have been opened. Because your mighty hand, O oh God, has pushed back every terrestrial obstacle. Your mighty hand, O oh God, has pushed back every marine obstacle. And your mighty hand, O oh Heavenly Father, has pushed back every area obstacle. And we will see clearly, we will hear clearly, we will walk, O oh Father, along the trajectory that you have called us to walk so that we will fulfill purpose. 
God. Say, you deserve the glory, O oh God. Let's you deserve the honor, O oh God. We honor you. We bless your sacred name. Holy in Amor. Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Father, we bless you this morning. Even as we pray to commit that we will live by the guidance of principle to achieve purpose. In Deuteronomy, the Father gives us the principles on how we should live. Verses 4 to 9. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Maryland. Hear, O Canada. Hear, O wherever you are. He say, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord is one. That is what we have to remember. Our God is one. Yes. They love the Lord your God with all your hearts with all your soul and with all your strength. Mm -hmm. Beloved, this morning, as we pray, we will profess our love for our God. Amen. Yes. Amen. These commandments that I give you today are to be in your heart. Impress them on your children. Talk mm -hmm. about them when you sit at home and mm -hmm. when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands. So whatever you want to do, he wants to remember that you are functioning based on the principles of the Father. Even when they don't seem like they will give you results, trust in them. You should bind them on your forehead. So your thought processes should be directed by the principles that the Father has given us. He said, write them on your door frames and on your houses and on your gates. So beloved, wherever you are and in whatever you do, you want to remember the principles of the Lord. So may this book not stay away from you. Be close with it so that you understand what the Father is asking us to do. Beloved, he said, those who love me will keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. So let us unmute this morning and express our love for our Lord our God in our own words. Let us pray. We love you, Lord. We love you, Father. We love you, our Lord and our King. We love you, O most gracious God, for you are a good, good God. You are the one, O Father, who sent your Son to die for us. You are the one, O Lord, who knows that we will rebel against you, that did not stop you from sending your Son to die for us. You are the one, O Heavenly Father, that when we are out there, you are watching and waiting for us to come back, that he, you, you, you O Heavenly Father, you give us the opportunity to become heirs of your kingdom, to become co-heirs with Christ, to be part, O Lord, of your holy family. Lord, we say how wonderful is your name, how wonderful is your name, Lord. Father, teach us how to understand your love. May we, Father, understand you are the God who caused the heavens to rejoice, O oh God, when the one is found. Father, you are patient, you are kind, you are waiting for us, oh Father, all the days of our lives, you are waiting for us to come back home, you are waiting for us to turn back and say, Lord, here I am, so Lord, we come to you this morning, we say we love you, Father, we love you, Father, we love you, Father. We love you Lord, all the days of our lives, Lord. We will declare your, your beauty all the days of our lives, Lord. We will declare your faithfulness. We will declare your goodness. Oh, Lord, we will continue to walk in the paths of righteousness because you have called us unto righteousness. That if we bless you, we say we will walk, O oh Lord, and be holy, even as you are holy. Oh Lord, our desire is to please you any way that is possible. We keep ourselves pure, oh Lord, 
because you are pure Nigga. indeed. What? Father, we bless your sacred name. Father, we strive, Lord, for your divine nature. Teach us, O Lord, to be examples, examples, O oh, examples, examples, oh, Heavenly Father, even to our brethren, examples to all who will see us, Lord. They they see you when they see us for the glory of your name. Father, we love you. We love you, Lord. We declare this morning our love for you. See, may you take all the glory, O oh God. Take all the glory in our life. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. The word of the Father tells us in Joshua 1, verses 8 to 9. It says, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate in it day and night, mm. that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. Beloved, as we go on this journey of our purpose, the Father is telling us that when we meditate on his word, when we stay in his word, we will know what he has written in it, what he has hidden in it for us to know how to uncover the mysteries of this world. It, yes. is, it is when we do that, that we will make our ways prosperous. It is not anyone who will make your way prosperous. It is you who will make your way prosperous. Amen. Amen. Let us go on this journey. Let's unmute and just pray and say, Father, in the areas where we have been lazy, may we be reactivated so that we will stay in your word, we will meditate on your word. We yes. shall not give excuses that there are so many other things that we do, and because of that, we cannot meditate on your word. Father, may we not be those who give excuses because we find time to do other things. We are here this morning. So let us pray. Let us pray for the grace to meditate on his word. Father, let us pray that we will not be amongst those who give excuses because we have to make our way prosperous. Let us pray. I will meditate on your word, O oh God, day and night. Father, I come against any excuses that I may try to bring. But that, Father, I will abide, O oh Lord, in your word. I will meditate on your word day and night, O oh God. And that because I do that, oh Father, I will feed my intellect to understand, oh Lord, your ways. I will feed my intellect, oh Lord, to know that which you have desired for us to do, so that I will do according to all that is written in your word, Father. For thine I am, oh God. And may I function according to the manual which you have given me. Father, I pray that I shall not neglect the manual you have given me and choose the manual of some of anyone, O oh Lord, or any being who is not my maker. May I function, O oh Lord, according to the manual of my maker in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, O oh God, that in the place of my success, in the place of my prosperity, in the place, O oh Heavenly Father, of my purpose, I shall not, O oh Lord, be overwhelmed, even when it looks like a mighty mountain, that, Lord, I will chase it head on, because I know, O oh Father, that you who has called me, you have equipped me, Lord, with the ability to accomplish all that you've called me to do. So, Father, even when the obstacles 
on my because way, Lord, look like mighty mountains. I will every, speak to those mountains that they will move, Lord, oh God, and I will speak believing in you, not doubting, Lord, that which I have requested, and I will see the mountains move for your glory. You, O Lord, have reminded me this morning that you will be with me wherever I go. O oh, Father, I pray that my spouse, O oh Lord, will meditate on your word. I pray that my children will meditate on your word. I pray, Father, that my leaders will meditate on your word. I pray, Father, that in my community, we will meditate on your word day and night so that, Lord, will observe all that is written in it for your glory. For your glory, Lord. Papa, we are trusting you for corporate prosperity. We are trusting you for corporate success that none, Lord, will be left behind because we come to meditate on your word and do according to all that you have asked us to do. And you are a faithful, faithful God. We say take all the glory and honor this day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. 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 We love on our journey to our purpose. When you stand where the Lord has called you, you do what the Lord has asked you to do. There is guarantee for success. In Isaiah 46, verses 10 and 11, the word of God says, I make known the end from the beginning. The ancient times, what is still to, from ancient times, to what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. From the east, I summon a bird of prey. From a far off land, a man to, to fulfill my purpose. The Lord summons a man to fulfill his purpose. He says, what I have said that I will bring about. What I have planned that I will do. Beloved, let us just omit this morning and pray for understanding of God's purpose. There is no better alignment to take than, than the purpose of God. Because when you stand in his purpose, he, you cooperate with him, you plan with him, to, you partner with him to bring his kingdom here on earth. Yes. Let us also pray that God will not pass us by, but that mm. he will summon us to fulfill his purpose. Amen. 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 Let us pray these two prayer points. Father, Let us pray. Father, we... Oh Lord, my God, I come this morning, Lord, asking you, Father, to give me an understanding of you. want to understand. Father, I pray for understanding of your purpose, O oh Lord, in the lives of all your children who set up this morning and their families. Oh, Father, speak to each one of us in our different ways, Lord, that we will understand purpose. Father, our Father, you see, you will make no you will make known your purpose. You will make known your purpose. And your purpose will stand. So, Father, we pray this morning for understanding of your purpose in our life. For understanding of your purpose in the lives of our spouses. For understanding of your purpose in the lives of our children. For understanding of your purpose in the lives of our community, oh God, that we will flow, Lord, according to your purpose in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. That we pray this morning that you, Lord, will not pass us by. For if you have said, oh Father, from a far off land, you will come on a man to fulfill your purpose. Father, we come this morning. We say, oh Lord, we come, oh Lord, to present ourselves. That here we are, Father. Do not pass us by, oh Lord, but send us, Lord. Send us, Father. Send us, Lord, to do your purpose. Send us, Lord, to do your purpose. Send us, Lord, to fulfill your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
May your hand, O Lord, be seen in our lives, even as we go out to fulfill your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come take all the glory, our Father and our God. For we rely on you. We depend on you, O oh God. For Kebra Mande, Bazo Kurasete, and Derika Shata, Barazo Kunde Bazete, the glory, Father, that we understand, O oh Lord, your purpose. The glory, O oh God, that we are summoned to fulfill your purpose. May not be left behind, oh Father. We cry to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. We love this morning. We stand and make a declaration, even as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ knew his purpose and made a declaration. We also will make that declaration this morning. Because as Christ is, so are we. We will make that declaration because we are co-heirs with Christ. If we are co-heirs with Christ, it means we are working together for the same goal. So I want you to unmute and make the declaration for yourself and speak the same for your generations. You see, in Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19, say, the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me. You call your name to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. As you make these declarations on your life, if you see anyone who is poor in spirit, anyone who comes to your mind, speak, speak freedom to them, speak, speak the good news to them. If you see anyone who is in any bondage, any form of prison, speak freedom to them. If you see anyone who is blind, yes, people are blind, even though they walk about like that. When they, they see the things of the Lord and would rather do other things as a, instead of doing the things that the Lord has called them to do, speak to them that their eyes may be open. Those whom you see are, are oppressed. Speak to them. Speak free freedom. Amen. Amen. So beloved, just Amen. unmute and pray for yourself and take authority and begin to make declarations. Father, Father we say thank Father, you, O oh God. Thank, thank you, you for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, whom you sent. Thank you for the model life that you've given us to live. Thank you, Father, because you have made us heirs of your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, because you have made us co heirs with Christ. So, Father, we look at Christ's mission. We look at this declaration concerning his life, oh God, and we make the same declarations concerning our lives because we are co heirs fulfilling your purpose. And this morning, we say the spirit of the Lord is upon me, Kwame, and because you, oh God, have anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. Father, Father, this day, O oh Lord, I begin Lord, to speak to your children, those who are poor in spirit. Who are poor in spirit. I begin to speak good news to your children who have been neglected. Those, O oh Lord, who no one wants to go preach because preachers have become people who are looking for you. Lord, who love wherever they go. So, Father, I call on the poor this morning. Let our cooperation be that, O oh Lord, even as I go about, May we cross paths that we will proclaim your good news. May the good news come to them that, O oh Father, they should repent for the kingdom of God is here. They should repent because our Lord Jesus Christ has made a way for us all. Abraham de Bamazete, Arubo Sikaba Matara Kande Barazote. Father, this morning, I give freedom. Freedom, O oh Lord, to those who are bound by any chain, visible and invisible. Those, O oh Lord, whose wounds have been bound, I speak freedom this morning. Freedom to be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. Fruitfulness in the, in the, the fruit of the womb. I declare it over your children this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, Ake Bajande Barazoto, those who heavenly father who are in the prison of not seeing breakthroughs at their job, who have thrown applications everywhere, but they are not being called, Lord. 
The word of God says in Luke 2, verse 52, say, and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with man. He grew in four dimensions that enabled him to function properly in his area of calling. He fulfilled purpose. So let us pray that we will grow in four dimensions. Our spouses will grow in four dimensions. Our children will grow in four dimensions. Our communities who experience growth in four dimensions. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you, O oh God. Say, Lord, even as the path that has been laid before us, the model of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come this morning to walk in that model. Father, I speak free upon my life. I will do all I can, O oh Lord, to grow in wisdom. I will not sit back, Lord, and say wisdom is reserved for others. I will scan through you, Lord. I will also educate myself. I will put in the work necessary to grow in wisdom, even as I grow, Lord, in stature, that I will also grow, Father, even in my presence. And Father, as I study your word day and night, I will grow in favor with you. And because I'm grown in favor with you, oh God, my family, my, my spouse, my children, my community, Father, who experience favor from man. Oh Lord, I pray not for myself alone. I pray for I all the life Father of represented God. online this morning. I pray for the families represented online this morning. That we, O oh Almighty Father, who grow in wisdom, who will not be lazy, so who put in the effort, O oh God, to grow in wisdom, to teach ourselves, to be perpetual students, to study, O oh Heavenly Father, even in the area of our purpose. We have to go along in such a so, Father, in favor with you, because of the time in your presence, meditating on your word, Father, worshiping and praising you, and doing the things, Lord, that you called us to do. And Lord, indeed, we will have favor with you, and may this time those who have been open and experience favor with man, because you have been favored by our Lord and our God. Father, you have blessed us that are beyond the Thank you, Lord. They brought them, they brought so too. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Beloved, we are moving towards establishment. So we want to remind the Father every day that this is the 11th hour. That this is our 99th year. That this is the 70 years for us. Amen. Amen. In Jeremiah 29 verses 10 to 12, the word of God says, this is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon. So this is the time when we have also completed our wilderness journey. He said, mm. I will come to you and will fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. May the Lord fulfill his promises in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our father says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans mm. to prosper you and not to harm you. Yes. Plans to give you hope and a future. Mm. Amen. Amen. May the plans of 
may our plants make way for the plans of the Lord in our lives. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. In any area where we stand and hold firm on our own plans, may we become weakened so that we give up our plans and may our eyes be opened so that we embrace the plan that the Lord has for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 May we experience the prosperity that the Father has for us. Yes. May we experience hope May we also be apostles of hope. We bring mm. hope and a future to the people around us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Beloved, we stand by the word of God this morning that he has promised us, the instruction that he gave us as we learn from Numbers 6, verse 22 to 27. He said, the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, mm. so I speak to everyone online this morning. Yes. I Amen. speak to your families this morning. Yes. According to the word of the Lord. I say, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. And be gracious to you. Amen. Lift up his countenance upon you and yes. give you peace. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, I have pronounced your blessing upon your children. Yes. I as O oh Lord, you instructed your priests, so have I done, so that Amen. we shall put your name on the children. I have put Amen. your name, O oh Lord, on your children. Yes. And Father, you say when we do so, you will bless them. So, Father, okay. I know that because you are a faithful God, you will bless your children this morning. We say yes. thank you, Father, for that which you have done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen and amen. 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 And we share the final greetings this morning. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Yeah. All the goodness and mercy of the Lord all the days of our lives. We will dwell in the house of the Lord ever and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you. Amen. Bless you too. Amen. 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 Amen.